Hello and welcome. Let's talk about how to do facials at home. Facials are the easy way of bringing beauty to the face. The dirt, impurities, dark spots will be removed by facials. Have you ever tried a facial at home? To give your skin that divine spa treatment and to maintain its glow, how about a homemade facial and getting the same results? All you have to do is step by step and do it right. What face masks do? When you use a face mask as part of your skincare routine, it's usually to target a specific problem, to reverse the signs of aging, to exfoliate, to clear up acne. Using face masks consistently can help remove impurities, dead skin cells, makeup and excess oil buildup, and generally improve your skin tone. In addition to making your skin feel better, a facial mask provides many benefits, refine pores, hydrate the skin, minimize the appearance of fine lines and wrinkles, soften and smooth the skin, brighten and tighten, increase elasticity, reduce under eye bags and puffiness. Determine what skin type you have first, then know what products will suit and improve or maintain its condition. Understanding your skin type and how it is affected by the changing seasons and changes in lifestyle will help you to select the best products. Facials are not appropriate for all the skin types. Each facial is made for a particular skin. We have to be aware of certain things before and after doing facial to take care of the skin if you haven't got one before. Step 1, it is really important to cleanse your face thoroughly to remove any dirt, makeup or product buildup before you start with your facial. Wipe off any makeup residue from the face using cleansing wipes. Then use an oil-based cleanser or any facial oil like coconut oil or olive oil and gently clean your skin surface. It will help get rid of every ounce of dirt and give you a clean face to work on. Lastly, use a mild foam cleanser on your face and wash off with lukewarm water. Step 2, Massage the Skin This step is essential to increase blood circulation and improve muscle tones, which keeps skin firm and bright. Use a facial roller and orc on your face. With a friend or by yourself, dampen the palms and take a small amount of face massage cream. Use both hands and give a facial massage with the help of the fingertips, moving them in an upward, outward circular motion, never down. The upward motion would help to lift up the skin and firming it while downward can result in saggy skin. Don't forget to massage the neck. Use the fingers and massage in an upward direction working towards the chin. Wash your face with water after good 10 minutes of massage time. Step 3, Steam. It helps the pores to open and makes the skin ready to absorb the products that we have chosen. Heat is good for the skin because it makes skin relaxed and moist. This step does wonders for oily and pimples susceptible skin. Boil water in a pot and take it off the range. Lean over it and take cover your head with a towel and to make certain the heat is trapped and skin receives the steam. Take the towel off sometimes in case you need air. Tips, add fragrant essential oils like lavender oil or rose oil to the water. You can additionally place green tea or rosemary for extra skin blessings and aromatherapy treatment. Step 4, exfoliating skin with a mild scrub helps remove dead skin cells, polish the skin and making it brighter. Take a pea-sized amount of your face scrub and rub it gently onto face and neck in a circular motion. Put special attention on the nose and chin area to deep cleanse and get all the blackheads and impurities out from the skin. Splash the scrub off with lukewarm water. Some people like to scrub or exfoliate before steaming, you'll get better results if you exfoliate after steaming. This is because dirt and impurities are loosened up during steaming. Therefore, the scrub is better to remove all of that gunk afterward. However, be careful about the type of scrub you use. Since your skin is very supple, a rough sugar or salt scrub will be quite irritating. Instead go for something that is less physically abrasive, like oat flour. Simply combine oat flour with water to form a paste. Step 5, now your skin needs something nourishing and moisturizing. Face masks get all the impurities out and give its radiance back. Grab your favorite face mask and enjoy some relaxed time while your skin relaxes as well. DIY a face mask according to your skin type and requirement using natural ingredients from your kitchen. For example, facial for oily skin, prepare a face mask with oatmeal and avocado or for dry skin, blend banana and honey. Just put chilled cucumber slices on your eyes and leave the face mask for 15 minutes before washing it off. Step 6, an important part of your routine, toning is additionally very essential in facial. Now that your skin has absorbed the vitamins and goodness of the face masks, toner would help to close and smooth the pores. 
It also restores the balance of the pores and skin and is genuinely helpful for acne-prone skin as it doesn't let the dirt settle in on the skin. Take a cotton pad and pour a small amount of a good pore fix toner and let it dry. It will shrink and tightens pores that had been opened during the steam and leaves pores and skin smooth and bright. Step 7. Wrap up your 7-step homemade facial with a soothing moisturizer. After you've indulged in a little TLC with your favorite mask, be sure to give the serum enough time to fully absorb into your skin before applying any other products. When it's time to moisturize, warm a bit of the cream between your fingers to help it penetrate deeper, then massage into the skin using upward motions. This last step hydrates the skin and helps to preserve and sealing in the moisture it lost. Make sure your hands are clean. Get a lightweight moisturizer and gently apply it all over your face and neck, and let it absorb in the skin. After your facial care, 1. Keep yourself hydrated, 2. Be gentle on your skin, 3. Don't pick at your skin, 4. Don't wear makeup immediately, 5. Protect your skin from the sun. Keep yourself hydrated. Drink plenty of water to keep skin hydrated. After a facial, your skin will feel supple and hydrated. However, to preserve that suppleness, you want to maintain your physique hydrated. Drink at least 3 liters of water each day for the subsequent 3 days to preserve that facial glow. Be gentle on your skin. A facial entails some scrubbing, cleaning and exfoliating, which can also make your skin a little touchy after the facial. For that reason, be gentle on your skin for the next few days. Avoid harsh cleansers and any product that would possibly irritate your skin, like soap for 2 days. Also, keep away from topical remedies for at least 4 days after the facial. Then you can exfoliate weekly to prevent buildup. Lime juice or any other chemicals should be avoided. Don't pick at your skin. It may be tempting to pick your pimples, but post-facial, it's best to keep your hands off your face. Every pop and squeeze will scar your complexion, inflame your skin and spread the bacteria. You surely don't want all that to ruin your skin after your facial, right? Then keep your hands off your face. Don't wear makeup immediately. With all that deep cleansing you did add on your face for your facial at home, some pores on your skin will stay open after your facial session. They need time to breathe and close on their own. If you put makeup immediately, it'll get trapped in your pores and skin and irritate it, leading to breakouts. That's why you have to ideally wait for at least 24 hours after a facial before applying any makeup. We should allow the skin to relax for some time. Protect your skin from the sun. The facial at home exfoliates your skin deeply, thus making it more vulnerable to harmful UV rays of the sun. After all scrubbing and cleaning involved in a facial makes your skin sensitive. So, before and after getting your facial done, don't expose yourself to direct sunlight for at least one week. If you do need to go out in the sun, make sure you wear sunscreen. Use a vitamin C serum to protect skin from UV rays. Frequent ask questions about facials at home. Can I do a facial every week? Getting a facial on a weekly basis is not really necessary. Ideally, get a facial every 6 to 8 weeks to get consistent results. What are the disadvantages of facial? A facial involves extensive cleansing and exfoliating, which might lead to redness and irritation on the skin after you're done. However, it will heal on its own, so you need not do anything. How long does facial redness last? Redness after a facial is okay and normal and usually does not last more than 24 hours. The best way to get good results in facial are afternoons and evening times. Thank you for watching. Please tell us what you think below in the comments. Don't forget to like and share my video with anyone who needs it. Now as you think our video is helpful, Remember to subscribe to support our channel for more and more videos. Again, thank you so much for watching. Goodbye and we will see you again.